Hi everybody, welcome to Wake Up Well. This is a new devotional for you. Uh, you can start the day with it, you can end the day with it uh, from the Well Sheffield, just to help us to focus our hearts and our minds each day on what's wise and, and what God might have to say into our daily life. I'm going to be using the New Living Translation and you and I are going to walk, walk through the book of Proverbs. Uh, there are 31 chapters in that book and that means that whatever the day happens to be, you will know. Okay, it's the 1st of April, today we're on chapter 1, tomorrow we'll be on chapter 2, we're going to follow the date. So let's just jump straight in. Chapter 1 and the first couple of chapters of Proverbs are all about wisdom. Why it's such a, a, a healthy, wholesome thing to gather wisdom and to learn uh, how to live well. And uh, it says in, in verse 3, their purpose of these proverbs is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them to do what is right, just and fair. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, on the face of it, that might sound a bit boring. I mean, why would I want to live a disciplined life when I can live an edgy life or uh, I can have a life full of experiences and, and so on? And, and why is that successful? But actually, it goes on to say this. He says that the proverbs will give you insights to the simple and knowledge and discernment to the young. And again, you might think, well, hang on a minute, I'm not young. Uh, I've lived my life a bit. I, why do I need to, to hear this stuff? What's this wisdom about? And then verse 7 of chapter 1 captures it all. The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and discipline. It cuts straight to the chase. It's the fear of the Lord that's, that's the beginning of real wisdom. And it's only fools who turn away from it. You know, you and I have to recognise that actually humility is king. Uh, you have to realise, well, what I know and, and what I don't know. And actually that the wisest choice uh, for me that I can make this day and, and each day is to remember who God is and, and who I am not. Uh, you know, Psalm 24 verse 1 says, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. And uh, this chapter... It paints a picture of a, a child. It says, listen, my child, listen to what your father says in correction. Don't neglect your mother's instructions. It's a beautiful picture of a child lapping up wisdom of their parents. And, and what comes to them is this. They will, if you do that, you receive a crown of grace, a chain of honour around your neck. Those are real virtues, you know. If you dig into wisdom like a child, if you lap it up, if you take it on board, you'll live a life that is honoured and, and a life that, that is due respect from other people. So today may you and I be like children, just lapping up that offer of wisdom from God. You know, may, it might come from unexpected source at this time when you're at home or whatever. It might come from your own children or or the voice of others that you hear. It, it might come from a, a thing like seeing a refugee camp and realising, oh, OK, I thought I was in trouble, but look what, what a plight those guys are in today. That Listen to the voice of wisdom today and be humble. Let's be humble. Let's seek God through his, his word for what you and I need today because, you know, the greatest display and source of wisdom is to come close to God. I bless you today.